just can't keep living this way So starting today, I'm breaking out of this cage How's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday. Today is the day I changed my life. This is going to be a five day long journey. I don't know when I'll be able to post this, but hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get going. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> You want my camera? Okay. <laughs> here, here. He's gonna YouTube. Okay, family. Uh, right now we're gonna go straight to the to the border. Uh, the plan right now, the plan right now is gonna be this. Uh, we're gonna cross the border, family. Next to that, girls, I will drop you off. I will drop you off at the hospital. Why at the hospital? Because you are the lucky one, girls. Gonna have a same day surgery, right? Yes. At the hospital, girls, you're gonna meet um, Grace and Tony. They are the patient advocate from a lighter me. Uh, and they're gonna help you with all your pre-ops, blood work, AKG, and you will sign the medical consents or have the surgery today. Also, you're gonna meet your principal doctor. He's gonna be Dr. Ortiz, the assistant is Morales, and the anesthesiologist is Dr. Malagon. The internal doctor is Dr. Cabrera. You're gonna have a lot of doctors to ask everything. If you have any question related about the surgery, that's gonna be your time for ask everything. I will pass back. Okay. The camera. <laughs> Thank you so much, Remy. You're welcome. That was Remy, our driver. He's pretty awesome. Sometimes. Sometimes. Almost, almost. Almost all the time. Okay, good. And what was your name again? Shana. This is Shana. Nice to meet you. We're all doing the surgery in the same day. This is really cool to meet up with other people who are going through the same journey as I am and same day so we can be what do you call it? Sleeve sisters. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna cross the border and we'll see you guys on the other side. Oh my God, I'm doing this today. Okay, bye. my fashion statement nightgown um i hate the iv hate it absolutely hate the iv it's so painful um this is what the hospital room looks like a door there's a tv in a safe box there's the bathroom in there and it's very small so you got a little uh chair and the window to see outside 
Um, we are three minutes right from the border. In fact, I could see cars piling up to get in out of Mexico. So what happened is I, when we got in the van, um, I had that wonderful driver, Remy, he is awesome, um, gave us a tour and update on what's going to happen here at the hospital. And then um, we went through the checkpoint at the border and all they did was open up the van, look through our luggage and then let us go. So I didn't really have to show my border pass at all. I do have to show the border pass on the way out of Mexico. Um, gave them my driver's license and then they took it to um, the registration office. And then they took our luggage up to the third floor. And then from there, I had labs. Um, they took blood. And then we went to the registration office, signed some papers. Then I went and got myself weighed and measurements. And then um, back to the registration office and then signed consent forms. Then as soon as my consent forms were done, I had um, I came up here and got an IV. And I think the nurse wants to do something, so we will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. She just came in and took my blood pressure, which is 109 over 83. Or was it 63? Anyway, it's a little low, um, which is fine because I haven't eaten in a long time. So they gave, hooked me up to an IV. So I've got fluids in me now, so I'm not dehydrated. It is warm out there. Looks like the fog cleared up. Um, yeah, so now I got an hour to wait. I'm gonna pull out the computer, edit some video, get some of that done, cause I'll have time to do it. And then they're gonna roll me in to have the surgery done. Oh my gosh. This is it guys. This is it. <sighs> wow. That's crazy. Right now I'm on speechless, I have no words. We will see you guys on the other side. See how I feel. Maybe tonight I'll vlog something. We'll see how I feel. Depends. It takes me a long time to wake up from anesthesia, so we'll see. All right. See you guys later. Oh my God. Bye. Hi guys. I'm officially sleeved. Yay. Um, I got sleeved around 4.30 this afternoon. Came back to the room about six. I've been in and out sleeping, but I'm feeling great. Um, the last time I had medication was about eight, and it's 10:30 right now. So, um, barely any pain, not a lot of gas pain. I think the med pain medications work great. <laughs> um, so I'm feeling still groggy, but I did it, guys. I did it, yay! And um, no complications and I'm feeling so good right now so maybe by morning I'll be able to get up and walk around um, they are giving another dose of medication um, here within the next 15 minutes and I'll be able to uh, sleep through the night <clears throat> and that'll be my last dose and so you guys yay let's get on with this new journey a new me happy birthday to me and uh, happy sleeve birthday is what I mean. And we'll see you guys all next time. Love you. Thank you so much for your prayers, support, and hugs, and positive thoughts of healing. And you guys are awesome. I love you. Bye. Hey, everybody. Um, day after post-op, one day. Um, nauseousness and um, pain had kicked in. The pain wasn't so bad as nauseousness was. I can hardly stand. I was so nauseous. I was dry heaving, and then if I had to take something like for the leak test, I felt like I had to throw it back up. But um, I'm feeling a lot better now. Just taking it as easy as I can. Been sleeping all day. They finally gave me um, some Gatorade to sip on. Um, my stomach is in pain, but. Um, yeah, it's, it was a rough day today, but, um, it seems like it's getting better and I'm finally on the mend. 
so I wanted to update everybody that um, I'm still alive <laughs> and still have a funny personality. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be feeling good enough tomorrow to be released from the hospital and go over to a hotel. And uh, I'll get my drain out tomorrow. Um, as long as I hold stuff down and not throwing it up. Because if I keep continue to throw up, I can't be discharged tomorrow. So, um, yeah. So, love you guys. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Day number two for post-op diet of gastric sleeve surgery. I don't know my weight right now. When I went into surgery, I was at 208, and um, I did gain a pound on the way here. I'm not sure why, but <clears throat> guys, it's day number two. I'm feeling a whole lot better, and uh, still a little bit of cramping in my shoulder from the gas and in the abdomen. I'm waiting for them to remove my drain. As soon as we remove my drain, we're out of here. We're taking the van to the hotel. We're being discharged. I'm doing really well. Um, they gave me this thing called, you know, those little blower things after you get surgery. They're supposed to take a deep breath. Practicing, practicing and taking deep breaths because sometimes your chest can be in pain. Um, other than that, well, I just got my bandages changed. They look good. Scarring looks good. The stitches are staying in well. No infection. I'm feeling really good. See the smile on her face? Yay, we got over the hard part. <clears throat> Still sipping on yesterday's Gatorade. I've gotten three quarters left, so I drank a quarter of it. Every time I take a sip, <clears throat> I can feel it in my stomach, and it says, Oh, hi, you're new. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let's get going, guys. Today's a new day, and all those who are in the U.S., happy 4th of July. I know they don't celebrate it here, but happy 4th of July, guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you guys all next time. Love you. Ciao.